Learning about tension on any sewing machine sometimes has people a little confused. So tell you the truth, if you use good quality thread, put a new needle in and use the same thread in your needle as you do in your bobbin, tension should actually not be something you need to change. And on this machine, there is an auto setting on the tension area, but I am gonna show you how and what it does if we were to tighten it to the plus numbers or loosen it to the minus numbers. But all in all, I'm gonna leave it on that auto for most of the time. Even when I was just stitching out our decorative stitches for our decorative stitch uh, video that we were doing, talking about how to stitch out your stitch book, by the way, when we take a look at the back side, I actually have variegated thread in the needle and a solid pink thread in the bobbin. So we do see some of the variegated thread from the top being pulled to the back side. That that actually makes the top look prettier. We have a prettier looking stitch when our stitches are pulled to the back. Now when we're sewing just a straight stitch, we want the stitches to be balanced. So your stitches on the top and the stitches on the back should look identical. You shouldn't be able to tell which side of the fabric you sewed from. Again, if you have the same weight of thread in your needle as you do in your bobbin, you have your machine cleaned and you have a new needle in. So there's a lot of variables with sewing and where tension comes into play. But let's say we see some of our bobbin thread coming up to the top side. So let's say I was sewing some decorative stitches and I see some of that pink thread coming up to the top. So that means that our top thread is too tight. So the tension only changes the top thread. So if this is too tight and we want to relax it, looser or minus number. And, and here's another thing. As we turn this dial, if you just go like a little bit, you're not going to see a difference. But if you go a number or two, you will definitely see a change in the tension. So it'll relax it a little bit. Maybe you still see a little of that color. Don't be afraid to go all the way down to the other side. Now, if you don't remember which way to go, you can always go one direction and you have a 50-50 shot of making it better. Just because it gets worse doesn't mean like your machine's gonna be totally out of whack. It just means that maybe you wanna have a different look and wanna turn that to the other direction. But honestly, if you just leave this on auto for so much of your sewing, you're really going to be okay. If you're having tension issues, maybe you didn't thread the machine right, maybe you're using kind of a low quality thread, let's throw that spool out and buy some quality thread. We've talked about that throughout our videos. Quality thread will make a difference, especially when it comes to tension so you're not pulling your hair out. So you can always adjust it if you've got a thick thread in the needle and maybe not as thick thread in the bobbin. And again, if you don't remember which way to go, one direction makes it worse and one direction makes it better. So you have a 50-50 shot. But just know that if you're having trouble with your sewing machine, it is not the first thing. Don't think tension is the problem. Think of all those other things that we've talked about. Make sure those are all lined up, correct, cleaned, uh, put a new needle in, those types of things before you blame tension for the problems that you're seeing.